It's crazy how this YouTube stuff works, man. How fast you guys have been helping team. me grow my channel. Silver how much support y'all been giving me. Jesus. All the love. Um, <laughs> y'all remember this video right here? This was the thousand sub appreciation video. And what y'all about to watch is the 2100 sub appreciation video. And the reason why I chose 2100 is simply because I'm turning 21 this August. Um, August 2012. <laughs> Maybe that will be a night I don't remember. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so uh y'all know y'all wish me luck man and uh you know be sure to subscribe for more be sure to like if y'all enjoy this video be sure to comment if y'all got any questions also if y'all want to see my current crib uh leave that in the comments below as well i can give a grand tour also once we hit 3,000 subs i'm gonna go ahead and take on the cinnamon challenge yes your boy monster chappy will be taking on that cinnamon challenge so i hope y'all look forward to that enjoy the video i'm out if you wasn't around with me back then, uh, you know, that's just a clip of Frenchie doing the cinnamon challenge. And that's my roommate right there. Frenchie, crazy dude. Uh, you know, good times at the apartment. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the full video. But that pretty much is the highlight of it. And that was when we had a thousand subs. Now we got 2100. And man, I just want to thank y'all really from like the bottom of my heart, man. Without y'all, I ain't nothing. You know, <laughs> so... I really would just want to thank y'all for rocking with your boy, man. And for this, I'm giving y'all one of my favorite schemes in the whole game. We're in the Indianapolis playbook. We are in my one of my favorite formations, one of the best bunch formations, if not the best bunch formation in the game. Shotgun bunch tight end. And the first play we're looking at is Indy Bunch. And there's just a bunch of things you can do with this formation. No pun intended. But um, as you can see, you can just copy some of these route combinations um, that I'm showing on the screen. Uh, basically, on the right side, if we slant out the tight end and the running man, we have a man switch. Also, like if you slant outside the inside wide receiver on the left and, you know, slant inside the outside wide receiver on the left, like they, they you know, they're met, their dudes bump together and they get open. And then you got the streaks that up the seams that you can obviously, you know, face throw inside and things like that. So that's also, you know, uh, effective. Now, again, zone, man, again, we we basically have a zone switch on the right if we slant out the tight end. Um, also, we can streak the tight end and, you know, hit him in the seam. Um, the next thing uh, that's kind of cool is if we can, uh, if that flat route jams your slot wide receiver, you can slant outside the outside wide receiver and hit him on a quick pass. And then the final thing is, on again, zone, I like to smart route that uh, 10 and in. Um, that that receiver's on in this case it was Colston and he's just right over top of the yellow zones and that works out really well now the next thing I'm in is this PA all cross and this is one of the rare occasions that I actually run the play action because it's actually a quicker play action and it doesn't take too long to develop and all the routes are just really nice out of it so this is one of the times where I actually run play action very rare but this is one of the plays where it actually works um, you know, again, the same concepts as far as beating man, you got your slants, your curls, things like that. And, um, that angled slant that that guy's on is also a pretty decent one. The one that the middle wide receiver's on. Um, the last thing I like to do for this is motion hike a streak for the outside wide receiver. And, you know, that just tears people up and you can't get jammed or things like that. And of course, um, that delay route, if they start blitzing and things, is going to get loose. Um, so I guess a setup for this play is to um, curl the inside wide receiver, slant inside the middle wide receiver, and streak the outside wide receiver motion hike him. And then, you know, you can run it like that. Also against zone, I leave the middle wide receiver on his standard route. And that, you know, that deep sort of slant across the middle gets pretty open almost every time. Also, I slant outside the outside wide receiver just in case. Uh, again, that middle wide receiver gets jammed. For some reason, in this formation, the middle wide receiver often gets jammed and it just leaves the outside guy open, especially against the cover threes. And, of course, you can streak the other guys and, you know, hit them in the seams. Um, really just running this play a bunch of different times so you guys can get the idea. Um, like, this play right here won't happen often because guys usually are going to bring a lot more pressure than that. But just in case they start, you know, dropping max coverage defenses, you can, you know, have that guy deep across the 
field like that. Um, one thing I will say about this formation, you do want a pretty good quarterback. And the reason being is because there's a lot of precision throws and there's a lot of deeper throws down the field. So, you know, get one of those guys that got an arm on them. You know, you can't go wrong with the Breeze, Manning Brothers, Brady, Rodgers, you know, guys like that. You're not going to go wrong. Uh, and this scheme is pretty much money. Um, this halfback draw is nasty. Um, what we can do is motion hike the outside wide receiver like we were on that last play. We can motion hike this inside wide receiver to the outside. And that's another motion hike that's coming up. And we can also motion him to the inside uh, as a lead blocker. And as you've seen there, we got quite a few yards. But usually you're going to pick up five, especially when they start dropping these max coverage defenses. Now this tight end corner play uh, against man, I re-slant those two deep routes. Uh, the two, ang two deep angle routes, and I streaked the outside guy, and, uh, you know, you can, as you see there, there uh, you know, I had the guy on the left wide open, but those two slants really get each other open. Um, you can also kind of just face throw the route to the tight end, so you want like a Jimmy Graham type dude, one of those dudes. Um, the last thing, of course, is if everything fails or if the guy guarding the running back doesn't go out with them like here. Go ahead and just hit that running back in the flats and, you know, get a nice little game, man. Those delay routes definitely catch people off guard, especially guys who use her, the guy that's guarding the running back, which a lot of people do. You can definitely catch someone off guard. Now, again, zone is where this play turns into sort of a bench, Z-spot-ish looking thing. Uh, and it's really cool because, you know, we, we're going to beat basically every single zone, every single zone in the game just because... There's so much you can do. We have that streak. Um, we have Jimmy Graham on a face throw type thing. Uh, and <laughs> to get that, uh, when Jimmy Graham, when you're passing him, you want a precision uh, down to the outside. But, uh, you know, we got the streak over the top just in case we beat them. And, of course, that guy going to the outside corner is usually going to be wide open. Now, this mesh play, I like this for shorter gains. And this motion hike right here is just devastating against zone. Um, it's pretty much unstoppable once you learn how to, you know, get the timing right. And I really just like mesh for the short routes because it's just really easy to get good, quick three, five yard pickups and good pickups like that. Also, we have the option of slanting out the tight end, and creating a man switch. So as you can see here, Jimmy Graham gets a really nice man switch after we flip the play. And, you know, he's just wide open. Now, the thing about mesh is this next play coming up X spot pretty much has everything that the mesh has but on steroids and this is also like z spot you know on a performance enhancing drug hgh all that good stuff so you know this is my favorite spot in the game x spot <laughs> and the reason being is this route jimmy graham's on also the fact that i can motion hike colston like we did in uh, the mesh you just want to motion him out a few steps and hike it and you know he's going to beat zone and against man Obviously, uh, <laughs> you know, we can face throw the, the angle route towards the outside as we've shown here. We can, you know, hit the route to Graham on a face throw. We can, uh, you know, inside streak catch, you know, one of the streaks. Just an uh, infinite amount of things you can do with this formation. Now, if y'all want, I will leave some of the route combinations I like using in the uh, description below. But again, this is just one of those formations in the game that you can literally run all game. This is probably the sole reason that I use the Indianapolis playbook from time to time. And it's just it's just really a pain in the butt for your opponent to stop once you get your reads and options down. Like It's tough. Again, zone or man, it's just really effective. And the halfback draw is really effective as well. So you just have a really nice balanced formation. Um, this is really just an appreciation video for y'all, man. I appreciate y'all so much, man. 2,100 subs, 21 shots, all that good stuff, man. I, it's going down. And once we get 3,000 subs, man, I'm going to go ahead and do the cinnamon challenge myself. So hopefully y'all enjoy that. Let's get there ASAP. Till next time, we eating cookies, baby.